is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have my damn halls episode number 67 in the house for you guys and today it is an epic package right inside this package guys we have a beautiful assumption i don't know what the hell i'm talking about we have a beautiful assortment of custom figures from the god himself from the man from the deity bew animations brian over there from washington guys absolute beast go give him a follow on instagram incredible Incredible customizer. I don't think I really have to introduce him. You know, if you don't have an Instagram page or, uh, you know, anything like that, then I guess you wouldn't know who he is. But he does have an Instagram and a YouTube channel where he does epic stop motion tutorials, all kinds of great stuff over on his channel. Definitely go check him out. Links in the description to his Instagram and YouTube channels. He has the uh, just a very unique style of customization. Very talented in every single realm, every corner of the WWE figure community. There is a piece of BEW. There's inspiration there is something of that man across the across the globe and he is an absolute beast but today guys we have this epic package and i cannot wait to show you guys these customs in here because i'm super excited for them two of my favorite superstars of all time in custom form in here gonna be epic gonna be great and we're gonna crack them out of this envelope and shut the hell up and take a look at these custom figures so with that being said guys let's go ahead and dive into this hoe but you know we can't cut open the envelope here at episode number 67 of my name halls without the good old trusty Knife. <laughs> Wait, that sucked. <laughs> what the hell was that? God damn it, son. Don't ever raise your hand to me like that again, all right? I consider that a threat. <laughs> what the hell was that? So just tearing this thing open, guys, you will see here. We're just going to give it a little ripsy right here, and then hopefully we don't damage anything. Oh, snap. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm super excited for this one. I guess, you know what, guys? Let's just go ahead and get into this one. And holy God in heaven on earth and in heaven at the exact same time, we are looking at a custom elite Willow the Wisp Jeff Hardy figure right here, guys. And you can see I sent him over the Rikishi entrance coat because uh, I, I thought it, you know, it looked like Willow and everything. Uh, you know, the long jacket he wears with the with the with the skulls on there. But uh, I, I freaking love this. I think it's freaking absolutely sick. Let me raise this shit up. So this Willow head sculpt is just phenomenal, guys. I want to get a good shot in here, and I want to. Get get all the different angles on it as we can see and the lighting for some reason is wanting to be an ass today but uh, you guys can see there this this is actually warbler and so he made this out of warbler which is like the plastic material you can get on figuregiant.com where you know you can manipulate you can make belts you can make all kinds of stuff out of it but uh, this idea came to me one time I was at the gym I was just working out at the gym and it just hit me in the skull I was like dude we need to make a freaking willow Jeff Hardy and here we freaking have it. He sculpted on this. We took the uh, Battle Pack Edge and Jeff Hardy Battle Pack from the WrestleMania 35 Battle Pack. We took that head sculpt. We removed the hair. We put the Survivor Series Elite hair onto that head sculpt, and then he sculpted it. I can plug in some whip photos as he worked on it. He custom painted up the braids. I love this, dude. I think it, it turned out exactly how I imagined it. The reason that we did this this face instead of just a straight face is because of the... Uh, the I'll pull up like a little, you know, inspiration photo on there but uh, this this is so beautiful man you can even see I don't know if you guys can see the eye under there it is painted it just has the shadow on it from the terrible lighting for some reason I have seven lamps back here like 80 lamps going right now and you still can't see shit. I think it just kind of matters on what packages we have and stuff like that. But overall, let's go ahead and just remove this coat, guys, because this is not the only feature of the custom. I just have that included because, uh, you know, that's the, that's what, you know, Willow wore. He had the long skull thing. We also have some custom t-shirts we can plug on this thing to make it even better, which we will show. But we did send along the Elite 57 Jeff Hardy as the base. That way I could put on custom t-shirts and stuff to add to the Willow. This is what makes the figure even better. You know, Willow did not 
not actually wear like regular pants. He wore like these suede like felt material pants. And so what we did is I sent him some Fandango Elite 27 lower legs and he acetoned all the paint off so that it gives it that wider look. I did this same thing with my Punisher custom Jeff Hardy. And then I sent him some Big E feet because I like the way these boots look. I think they look much better for Jeff Hardy instead of the kick pad feet. Gives it a more low profile look. Looks really, really sick. And this is where the money is also made, guys. I sent him some ringside exclusive Jeff Hardy arms to give him the black armbands. And uh, to prevent paint chipping, I went ahead and told him not to paint on any armbands. Just to leave them like they are and just add the tattoos. And so he hand painted all of these tattoos right here on this arm. And it looks so freaking sick. And it connects so perfectly with the Mattel tattoos. As you guys can see, the roots going down into the sleeve. And you guys can see underneath the armband, he continued all of that work onto the hand and he just nailed it. I don't know how he does the realistic tattoo look, but he freaking kills it, man. BEW is a magician. He showcases it every single time and this may be one of my favorite customs in the collection. Now guys, this just looks so beautiful. Like, Look at that willow right there. And again, we do have some custom t-shirts we're gonna put on there, but I love the way this looks. I already know we're gonna be getting, you know, when's willow coming to the pick fed type questions, Brad, and who, who the hell knows, you know? Uh, you, you never know what could happen. And uh, so willow's right here. I'm freaking freaking a stag, man. BEW knows this. Thanks so much to BEW for that commission. He he freaking destroyed that shit. I can't even get over how good that looks. Uh, let me go ahead and grab these t-shirts so you guys can see. And you guys can vote down in the comment section below which t-shirt you guys want to see. Do you want to see the Willow one like this? The Willow one with the screaming head sculpt? That's kind of an inspiration right there. And then we have the cross one that he also wore as Willow as well. So just let me know down in the comment section, guys, which one you want to see. I personally like all of them because they're, they're all three going to be great. I'm going to go ahead and put the cross one on first just to kind of see what that looks like. And then, you know, we can always go back and change it. We can do anything else, you know, uh, fix up something, change it out. You, you, you get the idea. Very easy thing to interchange, but you just put the shirt on underneath these dreads slash braids and we're just going to connect this and then go to the back and sort of Velcro that onto there. And then Wallabushka, freaking beautiful, man. Oh my my God in heaven on earth and in heaven at the exact same time. I love that, man. That That is freaking gorgeous. I think the t-shirt even throws it all together with the feet and everything. He put that max, that Mac, that matte sealant on there and it just tops it off, man. That is beautiful, man. But that is not the only custom figure we have to showcase today, guys. You have the Willow custom figure, which is freaking phenomenal. But we also have another one in here that we're going to go ahead and get into as well. All right, guys. So getting into our second custom, I'm going to remove all of the bubble wrap bull crap right here. I think that's it. Is there more stuff down in here? I want to make sure that I get everything. Okay, so he did include the rest of the fodder right here that we can take a look at as well if you guys would like. Uh, make sure everything is out of here though before I throw something out. You don't want to throw anything away, Brad, because that will suck eggs. So there we go. We got all this stuff. Uh, this is what we were talking about right here. He had this head sculpt right here. This is the Survivor Series head sculpt. He had this hair on here, and we actually loved the way that it looked. Um, and he, I already plugged a picture of it, I think. But uh, a lot of people like the way that looked right there. So, I mean, if you like that, you know, you, you, you like that. But he also painted the tattoo onto the extra hand. So that's a beast of BEW to do that. We also have the extra arms that were included, the lower legs of Jeff, interchangeable hands, all that good jazz. And then we have the other custom figure that is going to be absolutely freaking fantastic, Brad. We have a custom elite updated 2020 NXT Finn Balor, my boy Finn Balor, one of my favorite talents in the entire world, just had a freaking burn it down match with Johnny Gargano at TakeOver Portland, and this figure looks so good, man, we got to get a zoom in shot, so you guys will see right here, look at the head sculpt, he did sculpt on this hair, he even has the tapered faded beard that I love to see, you guys know I've been wanting that head sculpt from Mattel for a very long time now, you also have the fade on the sides, look at the beautiful haircut, the sculpt job, beautiful updated head sculpt of Finn Balor, that heel Finn Balor, that pissed off Finn Balor that we love to see in NXT right now. You got the bicep band over there, black wrist tape, you have the black sleeve, which is not painted, this is actually just, uh, this is not painted, this is actually just sealed, you know, this is from the Elite, uh, I think it's the entrance great Finn Balor. We also have the beautiful paintwork here on the tights, which does have the Balor Club logo with the X, obviously, that he's been rocking in NXT, and not only that, he did hand paint the tattoos, I do believe, here. Did he hand paint that, or did he put the, uh, 
uh, did he put the decals on there? I can't remember if he put the decals or if he actually hand painted that, but you do have the, uh, the dinosaur tattoo there. You have his hand tattoo right here, which is super freaking beautiful. I don't know how this man does it. Look how clean that is. Look how hand perfectly painted that is. Uh, BEW is just a magician, man. I mean, I don't know what to say. Um, he didn't have to do his other tattoo because it's obviously under the left sleeve right there. And then uh, I sent him lower black legs. I got the black kick pads and the black knee pads because Finn Balor's been, you know, rocking the all matte black look. Looking like a freaking assassin out there just destroying people in NXT. I'm guessing he'll be the next in line for Adam Cole's NXT Championship. So I guess we'll have to see about that. But, uh... That is pretty much it, guys. I, I don't think I have anything else to show you guys besides, you know, these two customs. But what an epic episode of My Damn Halls. You know, we only had the one package. We only had the two customs here today. But they're beautiful. They're freaking fantastic. Another huge shout-out to BEW Animations. I also have the jacket right here, which I kind of I kind of want to put this on so we can see exactly what this man looks like. The only thing this figure is missing, probably, is, you know, the, uh, the custom shooter hands, which uh, I could probably get made with with ease so I actually don't want this to happen I need to go ahead like remove the hands and then put that in there because uh, that's going to tear these sleeves. This, this custom jacket I actually got from G Natty. But let me go ahead and try to slide this on the best that I can. It's not working out, though. I may have to just remove this and then put it back on. All right, so removing that and then sliding this sleeve up into the other sleeve right there. And then putting that on and then putting this back on right there. And then Wallabushka and then pull the jacket up. I don't know why this is being so freaking frustrating. But there we go. Now you got the Balor with the jacket, with the hand tat, updated NXT Finn Balor, looking like an absolute boss. I freaking love this. This is beautiful, man. Huge shout-out to BEW. Huge shout-out to Custom Figure Shirts for the shirt. Huge shout-out to G-Natty for the jacket. And I call this a successful day of hauls, even though it's only two figures. Only, only one package here today on episode 67 of My Damn Hauls. Guys, still think it's a fantastic episode when you look at the customs. Which one do you like better? Do you like the Willow or do you like the updated Finn Balor Regardless, they're freaking perfection, and I'm super happy to add them to the collection. This is going to go excellent on both of their respective shelves, Hardy and Balor. These are two of my favorites in the world, and just they continue to tear it down. Can't wait for Jeff Hardy to return from injury. Hopefully, he will very, very soon, even though Matt's on his way out. Will that be similar to Jeff? We'll have to see. But that that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.